Hey everybody, this is Tembiota coming at you with another Transformers third party video review. This time I have TFC Toys Wings of Uranus kit, which is an upgrade kit for uh, Uranus or Superion to make them look a little bit more G1 esque. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at the box. And on the front, you get a nice little picture of um, Uranus with the added parts. Then right here on the side, you get a picture of the actual toy. Then on the back we have a picture of him again along with what actually comes in the box. And then on the side you get this picture basically again. On the top, Wings of Uranus, this picture again, and then on the bottom you got your little warning labels. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this guy open and check it out. And, and I'm going to go ahead and unbox him right now because there's not really much to this thing. Um, he does come with a, a backing, which is kind of weird since there's no actual window in the package. But he does come with that line art of um, the picture that was on the front, kind of like all the other releases did, or all the individual figures did. Um, then he comes with what you would think would be instructions until you actually get the package open. And then you open it up and you find out that instead it is, hey, a poster. Um, which is nice, but I really wish they would have given us some instructions on uh, which guns go to which figures, on like how to combine different things. You just kind of have to figure it out on your own. And then he also comes with his... Um, kind of tech spec bio card which has no bio on it so it's just a tech specs card and so then with the package open you can see there's a tray with a bunch of parts uh, it's actually two trays there's um, the top tray which has the guns the chest piece the crotch guard and then his uh, gun and then the bottom which has um, the missiles uh, combined neck kind of neck guard which uh, helps to fill in some of the neck space um, then this black piece which is actually his his face plate and then this smaller kind of white piece right here that I think is um, SR-71's neck piece I'm not really sure I haven't like transformed and tried it out or anything like that since it doesn't come with instructions it doesn't show where this stuff goes you just kind of have to guess and then look at pictures that were provided back when this guy was um, in prototype um, so it's kind of off on a side note I had kind of been thinking about how I wanted to do this review uh, whether I wanted to take all the guys together all the guys apart and show you how they look with all the parts and I decided that being that that would be probably the best thing to do I decided to not really do that and to conserve time so that this video wouldn't be a long drawn out one that I would just go ahead and show you kind of what I figured out with the research that I've done um, with these missiles there's no kind of real way to tell which jets these actually go to my guess is you know you have two sets of white missiles and two sets of black missiles so that narrows down to which jet you're going to you could put them on but really it, it it's up to you they don't limit it by telling you exactly which ones these go to and which ones they don't so hey you know put them on any one that you want to really so set that off to the side and then um, doing some research and looking at the G1 guns I, I think I've pretty well narrowed it down to which ones they actually go to and again, there's no instructions. They don't tell you exactly which ones they intended these guys for, but they are stylized versions of their G1 guns. So with that, I'll go ahead and take them out and show them to you. And then I'm pretty sure that this first gun would be uh, for F4 Phantom or what would be Fireflight, since the G1 version did have a double barrel gun, and this is the one that seems to have a wider... Uh, kind of barrel and then it has two sights on the front or two barrel sights 
so that would lead me to assume that, that this could be TFC Toys' stylized version of a Fireflight's gun. And next up, this gun leads me to believe that it belongs to AV-8B uh, Harrier 2, which is known as Slingshot, uh, just because of kind of the way that the barrel is, and then these these portions right here, they kind of look a little bit like uh, the G1 version of the gun. Uh, he didn't have, they didn't have any of the silver or anything like that, they were just completely black guns, but... And then this one, uh... I'm thinking that this one is for F-15 Eagle or Air Raid. Just because his actually had a bulge on it and then it had a little bit of this, this detail, this ridge right here. His gun had some of that in it. Um, and then lastly, I assume that this one is for F-16 Falcon or Skydive. Some pieces up here resemble what his uh, G1 gun actually looked like. And then here we have the main gun which is very reminiscent to the G1 Superion gun. Um, this thing can actually be taken apart into different into four different pieces. These wing be these wing bits can actually pop off and then you can actually detach the barrel from this portion right here. Um, and putting it back together there's actually a couple of uh, peg holes right here and right here and then there's a um, a little tab right here so you could actually have somebody hold it upside down or, or actually tab it into something and then this one has a rotating peg um, which it has a small peg right here that then you can take um, SR-71's gun you can take the handle from that and then attach it to here and then um, that's how he holds this gun and for some odd reason I found that he holds it a little bit better if you place it backwards for some odd reason just because of the angle alright and then we have the chest piece um, these are some pieces that can rotate out and um, actually this red piece right here you chose so you can actually pop it out. It's not um, it's not glued in or sonic welded or anything like that. So you can actually pull that off if you wanted to. And then the, the kind of last piece that I'm gonna be pulling out. I'm, I'm gonna be pulling out some other pieces, but uh, the last piece that I'll show you close up is uh, the crotch piece, kind of thing and that's actually how it tabs into eh, kind of scary but um yeah last piece is this crotch piece and then the, these little parts are on a ball joint but, and something that they showed off um, on the website is that you can actually kind of combine some of these pieces together to make a little drone or something a tech ship and what you want to do is take uh, this hole and there's that little post right there and it's going to attach up here like that and then you can take some of these guns and just tab two of them into the wings and then tab I guess you can tab two of them right here right there and then you have some kind of big gun flying drone looking thing um, yeah so alright and let me go ahead and bring in the big guy Uranos just so I can show off how uh, the pieces attach and all that jazz I'm not really going to be focusing on the bottom of the figure since uh, everything is based up in here and as you can see I've already taken phantom ray off of the chest just to go ahead and expedite the process alright the next what you're going to need to do is I haven't figured out a way to keep um, to be able to keep these on and to attach the panel so I go ahead and take these wings off 
and you can just pull those off they just tab into a little hole on the side and they come off pretty easy I just don't like grabbing things and just pulling really hard especially when it comes to um, $500 transformers so um, then what we're going to take is we're going to go ahead and move the chest plate back up up to here and then we'll just go ahead and push those those uh, little fins in and then we're going to take this little chest part and fold these in and then you'll notice that there's two little holes right here and there's two little tabs right here and and that's the only thing that's going to hold this this thing onto him actually um, these little tabs into those little holes and so I just press them with a little bit of force All right, and then there's that part and then for the, the crotch part you have this tab and it's going to go into that little hole right there and I had the darnest time putting it in the first time I actually had to get um, a little drill bit and kind of scrape out just a little bit in that hole right there I'm going to caution you right now with doing this you just want to scrape out a little bit or then try it and scrape out a little bit more try it again until you get the perfect fit because if you scrape out too much then it'll be loose and it'll fall off so just be forewarned before you you try that method so that's gonna go these are gonna go these little par portions are gonna go around that and then peg into the hole and that little middle post is gonna peg into the hole and you just give a little bit of force and it's on there nice and snug All right, and then next I'm gonna take this piece which is actually um, kind of a little neck guard you just slide it in to um, kind of get rid of a little bit of that space as you can see some light in between his neck they made it seems a lot of people had a problem with um, with the way it looked they thought that the neck post was a little too long so they they added this and basically all you do is you slide it in around that neck post and it just it'll lock in so you just tab into there and it gets rid of a little bit of that space I personally think it makes him look like he has a little bit of a like a turtleneck or something like that and then he has his little face plate which has uh, some nice little red accents right here you can't really see him whenever you place him in there you can just see him when it's out like this because uh, they're mainly hidden in there and they're kind of in some shadows so uh, basically this little notch is for his little chin piece right here and it's going to come down um, see there's ever so slightly there's another notch right here for his um, for his nose but it's it's very minute so you just take it and just kind of press it in there and you don't have to take anything apart you don't have to take the visors off or anything like that and then for uh, his gun you're just gonna take and rotate out the little peg it does have a larger peg hole and I don't remember there being any large peg holes on um, on your Reynos but I do remember there being some large peg holes like this on um, on Hercules I guess so you can use it both on your Uranus and your Hercules mm. but um, Go like that and then take it and I find that if I do it like this then I need to um, let me focus on the hand real quick and you can see how he has three uh, holes right there in his fist Actually, I gotta go like that a little bit um, I find that if I do it like this then I end up having to put it in this first hole just because of how far it goes back but I find that if I turn this around then I can actually notch it kinda like that and it moves the barrel out just enough or it moves this butt out just enough that I can actually put it in the second uh, the second hole and it won't um, I don't have to tilt it down too much but sometimes it doesn't want to work just right
I, I think it's um, much improved with the chest piece. It just, just screams Superion. I think that looks way better than having Phantom Ray kind of weirdly transformed and then just slapped onto his chest. I kind of wish that it would have went up a little bit higher and kind of hid some of this stuff right here. It looks like it's sitting just a tad low on him. But other than that, I have absolutely no problems other than it didn't come with any instructions. But with that, I'll go ahead and conclude this review. This has been Tambiota. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, uh, like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter. I will see you next time.